made more of that cachava. The cachava stuff is really a life changer, especially when you're on the go a lot, or you're busy a lot, you're just constantly working. Um, it's a great, easy, quick, convenient way to have a nutritious, I wouldn't call it a meal necessarily, like a half a meal, like a light snack. <laughs> I think, I'm not sure how many calories, maybe like a few hundred, maybe a hundred are in a, a standard serving. But, you know, half meal snack, great, easy way to make a really nutritious part of your diet every day. Or every other day or multiple times a day. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't drink more than two of these in a day. It'd probably give you diarrhea. But, I mean, who knows? Maybe if you eat a lot of fiber, you know, you could cancel it out, I guess. But I don't know. I probably wouldn't have more. I wouldn't have more than one of these two pushing it, um, you know, in a day. <laughs> but really easy to make and really easy to clean, so I'm not complaining at all. This made my life, you know, daily just making food. At least made a small part of every day or every other day, whenever I had these, that much easier. I will say, never been in a situation like that before. Out to my family for support. Did not get it. I got a uh, subtle doubt. And I kind of got sideswiped with like, I'm going to say like what started it was like periods of kind of depression, different things. Uh, like a quarter life crisis, kind of like hanging out with younger girls and then kind of ditching me after a while or like, treating things like it, like they weren't that serious and you know I wasn't feeling like the best version of myself I wasn't in the best spirits I didn't want to talk to people because that's so hard to believe I also lost like $50,000 after making like $20,000 in the stock market wasn't in a good mood <laughs> um but I mean it's all in the past but it just, I, there's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, why don't you just, uh, go, why don't you just do this? Why don't you just do that? Why don't you just do this? So I didn't think everything was going to like slowly collapse on me over time. And people were just going to treat me differently, doubt me, um, just completely like take anybody's word for granted that they, I mean, I did stupid stuff when I was drunk, but like, I don't know. I think it's the way my family talked about me, um, especially the family that got brought in and like married in how they talked about me and like would just you know anything if I peed my pants if I got drunk and I passed out in someone's car um if I crashed my car it was broadcasted in like the worst most like disrespectful disrespectable way it created a you know a sense of, of you know that that definitely started it and then you know, when people say shit and there's a lot of people that say something about you and you, you know, you say something else and you went through stuff every day and should have saw pretentiously fake fucking people when I first went for an interview and I got life experience by working that job. Family treats you like a child and doesn't have any respect for you and you're, you're hitting 30 soon. You know, it's... Uh, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of things that I had to deal with and I wasn't quick to react because it's, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know how I would have reacted. Like I said, if I, if I called somebody out in the office, if I, you know, fucking just went off and got vocal, when I get vocal, I get vocal. I get very intensely vocal and I am a catalyst for, um, I'm, nobody wants to take shit for me. Nobody. But I dish it like, and I dish it like nobody. Um, I'm one of the worst instigators that I've ever met in my entire life, and I know that. And people who already don't like me, I get in their face. Who knows what they do to my career? So I don't know. It's 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 fucking. It should have never been a situation. I should have never applied for a job at that company. I should have. And if I never worked that job, I think ultimately. Uh, me and my family were slowly parting ways and things probably would have ended up this way eventually one thing or another probably got sick of them 
bossing people around once they started having kids and we probably would have same thing would have happened Parking in that parking lot, doing stuff with my phone route, and like a half an hour went by. There's a bunch of other cars in that parking lot. The stupid security guard flagged my van, my stealth white van, and he, he just drives around and he loops my van, and then he comes back and he drives around my driver's side like window and just pulls up right up to my driver's side window and just beams his light at me, lights at me for five minutes. I didn't do anything and he just stayed there. I just kept doing stuff on my phone and then he got out and he goes, sir, property's closed. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. To ask me to leave? There's like 20 other cars and you pick my van. I don't think anybody else is in their cars, but there are other cars. And then I moved across the street. I think I'll be good here. Here's a question for the YouTube community. Does anybody else believe that the YouTube algorithm AI sometimes sends cryptic or just messages through short meme videos? Anyone else have thoughts on that?
I went to 7-Eleven. I got some pork egg rolls. I got a hot dog. Pork egg rolls are pretty stale. Pretty nasty. Tastes like starchy. Yeah, nasty. Why does everyone want to play with my toys? Beats me, but if Hydra wants it, it must be dangerous. Hydra's the enemy here, aim those things at them! All my enemies will pay, and your first spider! It's all out of webs! That's harder luck! for that Spider-Man, but your fate will have to wait for now.